Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rick. If it's your first time here, thanks for visiting. So a few months back, I did a video on pruning my 20 blueberry bushes. And I was recently asked to do an update and show how the bushes have been doing this summer since the pruning. So let's take a look. I'll show you what they're doing. So let's start with bush number one. This is the first one I showed in my prior video. And if I can, I'll, I'll uh, add something in here that shows you what it looked like before I started pruning it. So this one's doing really well. Let's start at the bottom here. So I've got all these new shoots growing. Um, they were about four, four or five. There was a clump of new shoots growing here. They're probably a couple of years old. They were growing, but they were all close together. So I cut those out. So here are the new shoots that are growing. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new shoots there. Another one over here. That's what, eight new shoots growing right there. Um, those I'll probably have to thin out at some point. Uh, I might let them grow for a year or two and then the best ones I'll keep and I'll prune, prune out a few of those. And then up here, I've got several new or I'm sorry, those are canes. <laughs> canes down there. I said shoots. Those are canes. I've got new shoots growing here. Now look at all the new shoots. All of these. Here, here. A whole bunch in here. All these green ones. These are brand new this year. This one might be a second year. Um, but the trick is, when you prune these, you want to open up the middle uh, to let air and sun in. That helps everything grow. Here's another good size one. This is, I believe this is the first year for this one. Look how, how much it's grown. This one's probably two or three years old, but this is all new from about here. From about here up, I think is all. Well, no, that's that's a couple years old. Um, so anyway, that's the first bush. We'll go around to the second bush and show you what that one's done. That one I didn't prune as heavily, but this one's doing well. Now this bush was the second one that I showed in my prior video. This one was just a huge mess of overgrown canes and branches and shoots. And, um, and I cut out a couple of canes down in here. It's really opened it up. So now I've got this cane is really taken off. That's got to be about three feet high. Here's a couple of other new canes and shoots growing here. So you can see here's where I cut one off and now I've got all these new canes growing out of it. So there's a couple more there. That's doing well. There's more new growth down here. Oh, this is new. This is all new growth here. So this one I really opened up. Let me back up a little bit. This one I really opened up in here. This was just chock full of branches. Um, it still needs more, <laughs> more pruning, but it's much better than it was. So now I've got all of this growing through here. Um, another one growing up here, another one here, now let's see where else. 
Another one there. So the sun and the air are really getting in here and it's really flourishing. This area here, I still need to prune out some more, but the berries are doing much better. Uh, we've already picked a lot of the berries. Um, we've had a lot of rain this year and the berries were way behind schedule. Uh, and then the sun started finally breaking out. Finally started getting some sunny days and the berries all started to ripen at once. So we still got quite a few here. This is still too thick. I want to prune this out some more this year, but the berries are much bigger than they were in the past. Uh, let's see if I can find some smaller berries. Uh, like these are kind of small here. And this is what this bush was producing everywhere. They're pretty small. Now we're getting some better sized berries like these. Um, well, we've already picked a lot of them. We've been out here every day picking as fast as we can because they're ripening so fast and they're starting to soften on the bush. So again, here's the uh, look at all these branches growing here. Again, because the sunlight's getting in. All right, so that's bush number two. Let's move on to the third one. So I believe, I believe this is the third bush that I showed in my prior video. Um, and I never did cut this piece off. I had mentioned, I had seen that in the prior video when I was um, shooting the video. And I said I was gonna cut that off, I never did. Uh, so I'll get that this year. But, so here's uh, another one, got growth down here. And I did a lot of trimming in the center of this bush. You can still see how it's open in the center there, which is allowing a lot of new growth. So there's some there, some new growth there. New growth here. Now this one still needs you know, some more here. New growth. This one still needs to be pruned more in the center. So this year I'm going to take. Now I'll step back. You can see it better. It's still still crowded up here. So I'm going to take some of these off this year. Probably this one because it's growing up toward the center. And. I don't know, maybe this one here. Get that out of there. But anyway, I'm going to prune some of these some more and open them up. Uh, let more sun and air in. Now, I'm going to back up and I'll show you two here. These two bushes, this one here and this one here. These were tiny little things for years and years and years. They just didn't want to grow. Um, they were probably you know, about that high. They were tiny little things. And I thought they were going to stay that small. Just in the last couple, and that was for about 20 years. And then just in the last few years, so that's about where it was. Look at how much it's grown. I don't know what happened. I don't know why, if it was pruning or what. But I didn't even really prune, prune these two all, all, all that much because they were so small. But they've really taken off. Maybe they were just younger than the uh, the other bushes. I don't know, because they were here when we bought the property. But they are producing well. So this one, this year, I'm going to have to really prune, because it's starting to get crowded. So let's find another one. This bush is a good example of what pruning will do, and the lack of pruning will do. So let's move in closer and I'll show you. Now this one here, I pruned out this area here and opened it up. So you can see a lot of new growth coming up. There's new growth there, new growth here, um, new one coming up here, another one coming up here. 
another one here. So a lot of new growth right in this open area. Now right up here, I didn't prune enough. This is still all bunched up. And this is where I'll have to prune this year or next year. Um, you can see there's not a whole lot of growth. There's this growth here because that's still getting plenty of sun and air. Um, but this, if you look in here, there's not a whole lot of new growth. There's a lot of dead branches, actually, because it's just too cluttered. And we're not getting a lot of berries in this area because it's just too cluttered. So the sun's not getting in, the air's not getting in. So I'll clear that next year. I'll prune that out, take out some of these branches, and open it up. And it should, it should thrive. Now the other thing I'm going to do for next year is take out some of the higher growth, clear out some of that when I'm clearing out the center of these bushes, and take out more of these canes and branches that are growing out like this one. And I did quite a few this year, um, but we need more. So there's that one growing out into the open there. And then some of these that are blocking the, the rows, like this, this one here. I'm going to take that out, open it up. Uh, this one's got to come out. Let's see, what else? And this one. This is growing out across the row and taking over the area for the next bush there. So that one's going to come out. Um, let me just take out this whole this whole branch because it's growing up and everything's growing out into the into the row. So that's the plan for next year. Uh, open up these rows, clear out the uh, tops of these bushes even more. And we should be good to go. So the end result is we had a fantastic crop of blueberries, but we just can't pick them fast enough right now. They're they're riding on the on the bushes. Uh, I'll be picking for probably an hour or two today. So you can see quite a few in here, but we've already picked the vast majority of blueberries. So this is what's remaining there over here, uh, up there, still quite a few. Okay folks, that concludes the tour. So thanks for stopping by, thanks for visiting, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.